Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, how are you? It's Alex Bennett and it is the Ramble. And we go from now until midnight, Eastern Daylight Time. And uh, um, gee, I want to, I got to change the picture here. I, my picture is, uh, you see, uh, it's off. If you're if you're watching us, some people don't even give a damn. So you know it doesn't doesn't really matter. But you know I could take this and I could pan it over a little bit here. There we go, and then zip it up there. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. A little more. A little more tilt upwards. There we go. All right. Now I'm all you know. Every time, the trouble with the Microsoft is they never do anything right. Okay, they do things really terribly wrong, and and one of the things wrong about Windows is is that I have all my settings set here for the program, and then if I reboot Windows, they, everything comes up cattywampus. So you know, that's one of the major problems I have. I have all kinds of problems. By the way, I want to thank um, Jeff last night and Tom. They were the only two people who called this program. And uh, it was a delightful program with them, and I thank them for being here and uh, uh, helping me not be a person who lived out his greatest fear and nobody called, okay? Uh, however, having such a lousy uh, reaction to the program last night in, in the amount of callers that we got makes me wonder about this whole thing. I mean, this is not to besmirch Tom or Jeff, who were really quite scintillating last night. And I could probably do a show every night without, with, with just them, okay? But um, it just made me kind of think twice about why I do this every night, you know? And uh, maybe some changes that need to take place, but I don't know yet. But I, I did want to thank them because they were terrific. As for the rest of you, where the fuck were you? Anyway, hmm. Okay, so as you know, um, you know, when you go over to people's homes and they've just gone to Europe, they then pull out all their videos they made, uh, and they're terrible because they're unedited and you just sit there and see people, you know, for endless hours floating down a river somewhere or whatever, uh, or getting goofy in a way that is not really quite becoming of them. I, I take uh, home movies and I edit them into a long version of really boring home movies. And so I have one to show you tonight. We went up to Vermont this weekend and we had a few little adventures and a few things that we did. And uh, uh, I, I thought I, I, I went on here and I edited them all. They were all done, by the way, on an iPhone X uh, in 4K. Now, the version that I have here is not in 4K. In fact, I don't know why I can't get it to render in 4K because uh, all the videos were shot in 4K. So I don't know. But anyway, be that as it may, uh, the, the, the quality is great. And only a few shots in it, few of them, uh, were shot with a GoPro. Uh, the rest was done with 4K and an iPhone X and uh, then edited uh, as I have edited most of my stuff over the years. Uh, in this case with Final Cut Pro, which is a great program done by Apple. So uh, uh, let her rip and we'll, uh, we'll see in about oh, 18 and a half minutes from right now. Okay, roll it. This is the start of our diary to going to Vermont. You know something? I hate air travel. It's horrible. 
It's just gotten terrible. I mean, everything about it is just distressing. And by the time you get to your destination, you're so worn out, you have to take two days to recover to take a trip back and be in another negative situation. Uh, you got to take it out to JFK, you know, a, a, a car. That takes forever because the roads are clogged. Then you got to get through TSA, taking off everything that you ever had on your body, and then trying to remember where you put everything. Like, where's my wallet now? And where's my phone now? And then you reassemble yourself on the other side, putting your shoes back on. It is just absolutely dreadful. I remember when you got all dressed up to go flying and you just ran to the gate and gave them your boarding pass and got on the goddamn plane. Do I sound like an old fart? I think we should have two kinds of, uh, of, uh, of, of travel. Uh, uh, one would be secure travel and the other would be I'll take my chances. Okay? And then with I'll take my chances, you don't go through, nobody in the I'll take my chances flight uh, has to go through TSA or any of that. And if the plane blows up, so it blows up. Here we are now, crunched into the plane. Ugh. You know, uh, they do have uh, even more space, but you have to pay for it. And since we're going on a very short flight, I don't care about the space. But if I get there and my legs are crippled, you know. How you doing? I'm okay. Yeah. Here they hold this uh, walk for lymphoma and leukemia, and that's where we are, the beginning point of that walk. Just what I like to do, walk. I feel like such a dork. Why? I'm wearing this. So take it off. Yeah. What the hell? at me. I'm walking. All right, that's a fun thing to do. Something that's not genuinely a wonderful thing for me. I hate walking. But I'm, I'm walking for a cause. Give me your bell. Give me something fun to take. There There they are. Yes. <laughs> Uh, 
It's morning. Our second day here, it's Saturday. Actually, uh, yesterday was only a half day. And today we're going to go to the polo matches. But right now, look what's going on out on the lake. Is this the first time you've ever been to a polo match? No. You've been to a polo yeah, match? Yeah, out in the Hamptons. Out in the Hamptons. Yeah. Years ago. There they are. This is their second round, I guess. What do they call it? A match? A round? Or... Chucker. Chucker. Their second chucker. Uh, they changed horses because the old horses get... Older, need a rest. They need a rest. She'll they get back. older. She'll go back to that one. Yeah. Yeah. This game certainly has balls. <laughs> Here they are. Yeah. Well, here we are at the polo matches. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. With all the... With my ra rad li lib feelings, I'm at a polo match. Ploppinies. Yeah. Ploppinies. The horsey has come to visit. Oh, so this is the one she ended up buying. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, what's his name? Sirach. 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 Oh, is this a different horse than you had before? Yeah. How old is this one? Tailgate party, yeah, huh? It is. They're just getting warmed up now for the tail. For the party. <laughs> How many more chuckers we need? One more? Two more. Two more. Two more to make a. Two, uh, two more chuckers? Well, a, a game? Or a, ch a chucker is a. Level, they're, they're, they reduced it so you're only playing four chuckers. Right. And that's just make it more affordable. So if you have two horses, you're basically playing four. That's right. Okay. At the professional level, higher goal level, they play six. Right. We typically, we here, we just play. How many chuckers we have people in horses? Okay. Today we're playing four. Oh, yeah, okay. There are enough horses. Times we play eight. Oh, okay. If we have a tournament, it's, it's a four goal tournament. I mean, it's a four chucker tournament. Stand back, Alex. Stand back, Alex. Stand back, You know, they talk about places being God's country. But this is definitely God's country. This is just beautiful. Look at that sky. It's just very dramatic. I love it up here. Yesterday was one of the most beautiful days I've ever seen. Well, here's how variable the weather is in Vermont. I don't know, I seem to have been left all alone. There's nobody in the house. And uh, so I'm just going to take a little walk just to see what's here. I love things like this. I love the fact that it's like a, a railroad uh, crossing. I think I'll just stand here till a train comes through and it runs me over. That would be a great ending, wouldn't it? I guess I'd get a major headline out of it. Alex Bennett run over by train. Maybe it's coming in that direction.
What we have here is a beautiful, beautiful garden. Look at these flowers. This guy grows them every year. Although I hear he used to do vegetables, but he doesn't do them now because he grew so many vegetables, he couldn't eat them all. But that is one hell of a nice garden. Doesn't it just make you feel good? Here's some examples of the foliage turning. Look at that. I don't know how well you can see that against the blue sky, but that the whole place will be that color soon. Here's one of the leaves that turn. Look at the color on that. If you don't walk back now, I'll have just as far to walk back as I go, so that's a nice decent walk for me. I haven't been hit by a car yet. Oh! To go back to Polo. Ah. Huh? Ah. There we go. There we are, ready the to big go. Big red truck. Oh, I love That's the right. big red truck. 1952 Ford F3. Wow. Three quarter ton. Uh, three quarter ton? Yes. That's what, that's what it will hold. Well, that's the that's weight a, classification. Uh, the weight. Really? No, classification of how much it will hold. That's how much yeah. it will carry. Which most pickups are half ton. Yeah. Oh, I love the red on this thing. That is a red, red. Yeah, and Ford is a little dusty today, but. Priorities. Didn't allow me to wash it. We're going back to Polo for the second day in a row. That's right. See how many chuckers we can get if we can ever go to. You gotta grab your seatbelt yeah. if you have a chance. I will. I was 12 years old when this car came out. And I think of it, oh well that was just yesterday, but no it wasn't. Like 70 years ago. <laughs> We're going out to Polo again. Yes. Got to see how many chuckers we can get there. Yeah. That's right. Get to see. Guess where we are? Yeah. We're back at Polo. <laughs> I really enjoyed it yesterday, so I'm glad that we came back. We came back because there were supposed to be more uh, players today. And it does look like there's a lot of players out there. So we'll, so we'll see, okay? The score is seven to seven. Tie score. What's a horse good for? I mean, while you're playing, before um, they tire out. Uh, at the top level, it's like three minutes. And really? Like here, it's towards the end of the chakra, they just get tired. Yeah, yeah. You can tell when your horse is getting tired, right? Yeah. Yeah. You slow down. They're breathing heavy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get really sweaty. Oh, Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Yeah, let's get a hello. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're through. We Time to go Hi, back. Daddy. Here comes another one. Yep. These are the leaf people, they're called? Yes. Yes. They come to visit every fall. They come to visit every fall. Those are not leaf people, those are just people walking down the street. There's a mother and daughter. Well, comes another day. And uh, it's our last day here. We're getting on the plane in a couple of hours. And maybe it's not a bad idea because look at the weather. Uh, but it's been beautiful for the last couple of days, at least partially on the second day. And out when we were looking at the polo, it was very nice. So, But when it's like this, you don't mind leaving. Thank you so much, guys. I okay. really appreciate it. Enjoyed it. Have safe okay. travels. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How would you sum up the weekend? It was nice. Yeah? Yeah, looking forward to going home. What did you enjoy most about it? Being with Adrian and Charlie. Yeah. yeah. Mine was Polo. Polo was good. Polo was fun. The second day was better than the first day. Okay. Yeah. And we're sitting in the airport now for a long wait for our plane to take off. And uh, we'll get back to our iPhones. Yeah. As soon as I sit in my seat, look what I'm faced with. That's our little trip. I hope you uh, weren't bored by it. Uh, you know, I usually, whenever I go away and take trips, I, uh, I take video. And when I take video, I then come back and try and put it into some form that isn't going to totally uh, um, uh, bore people to death. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. A bit, uh, bit much of polo, but we, that's what we did. You know, uh, two days of, of going out there and watching these people play polo. It's not a lot of time. The second day was better than the first day because the people playing were playing. First day we were out there, they were just kind of batting the ball around, you know. And then the second day, they were uh, they were really going at it. They were really having a match. And uh, uh, it, it's kind of hard to shoot, though, because uh, uh, on an iPhone, this is what it was shot on, okay, uh, you don't have a, a very easy time of zooming in on stuff. Although in 4K, it maintains a lot of its uh, a, a good picture. But I've ha I had to like move my fingers like this in and out in order to zoom and so on. Uh, something that you can do with a camera much easier uh, than you could do with that. But uh, that's what we did. And the whole thing was shot on the iPhone. And... Uh, then I came back, and I it, the, the hardest part of it was taking the uh, the video off of the phone because I had to get the uh, I said okay these are all the frames I want all the pictures I want uh, uh, offloaded onto uh, my uh, uh, desktop or not the desktop but the you know the the uh, iPhoto program they have 
And that took a while. That took quite a while. It took about, uh, I don't know, a half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. And then I had to take those pictures and put them in a folder on my desktop, and that took about three hours. So if I went to Europe and shot the whole thing on an iPhone, the biggest job would be up offloading the shit. So, you know, that's my, uh, my problem. But I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, it gives me something to do. Uh, what? Oh, I see. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going nuts. I can't. Uh, uh, I, I'm not the technician I used to be. I find that I'm starting to lose my skills. I get a little flummox and wondering why certain things don't happen. Anyway, the, the lines are open. We didn't have very many callers last night. We had two callers. They were great. They were Tom Yamaguchi, who always comes to my rescue when people aren't calling or when Phil isn't here, and, um, and, and Jeff. And I don't know where the rest of you were, but uh, we had a nice time of it. Uh, but it makes me rethink whether I want to keep doing this or not, you know. And uh, uh, what's happening to our country and so on makes me rethink whether I want to stay in this country. You know, I'm not getting any younger. I'm getting older. But, uh, uh, you know, nothing's necessarily going to prevent me from leaving this country if it gets to be too much of a problem. Um, where would I go? Anywhere that's more civilized than this country has become. Uh, we have turned into a, a real ugly place. Uh, and, uh, you know, excuse me if I have a certain amount of depression going where that's concerned. Um, I just don't want to get into it. I just am so tired of it. One of the things that makes me want to stop this program is that because of what's going on, you've got to talk about what's going on, and I am just absolutely sick of it and distressed over it, and the fact that we even have to discuss this kind of thing is, uh, is absurd. Uh, it, it just shouldn't be that bad. And here comes Phil Meyer and Ray Renati. First we'll go to Ray, and then we will answer Phil. And uh, th there we go. There's the two of them. Uh, let me... Uh, uh, there they oh, go. Oh, God, no. What? Hey. what? What do you mean, oh, God, no? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, no, go, oh, God, no. Why not? Phil. Yeah. Phil. Hey. Yeah, well, you I know, you, you could have call you could have called last night, and there was no Phil, but you didn't. You know, I couldn't. I was working. Oh well, I, I watched it though. Yeah, well, it, on the way home. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah, yeah. I was just two, the two, two, uh, Jeff and uh, Jeff and Tom, and Tom, right? Tom and Jeff, Tom and Jeff show. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, Phil? Hey, I'm doing just fine. Cool. Uh, I had uh, photography last night, ah. and uh, uh, it was a uh, nice evening. Uh, Did you win again? Uh, I didn't submit anything. I, I didn't have time. I, you know, I just... Uh, so I was I beginning to think you were the bully of the camera club. <laughs> Only in basic. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I have other duties uh, when, I, when I show up. I'm now an officer in the club. So uh, I'm the guy uh, that everybody hands their picture to. I have to organize them and then present them to the judge. And uh, so it's it's an integral part of the evening. So boy, that's uh, that's really sounds interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, it's somebody's got to do it, and nobody else uh, raised their hand. Actually, they just asked me if I wouldn't mind helping out, and then all of a sudden, I got this crazy uh, position where uh, in the afternoon I have to download like seventy pictures, and it's a very complicated download. Uh, but I'm, I'm getting it. I don't have to call for help anymore. Yeah, it's exciting. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I was thinking about what you were saying, Alex. Uh, the new Skype may present uh, a, a benefit. You know, if, uh, if a full house is four people or uh, you control who speaks when you have just four people showing. No, I can't, I can't, I can't, in, I can't control who speaks. Nobody can speak unless you call on them. No, what do you mean? No, uh, of course they can speak. Uh, no, if you use the new Skype 
and you have a minimum number of people. Uh, no, you can only put four then, up full uh, on the full screen, but meanwhile, right. all the other people are still there represented as little round bubbles, which right. I can you know, then bring... You don't understand uh, what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is you take uh, more control of the show so that nobody talks unless you invite them to talk. What do you mean? I, I, they'll talk anyway. I don't. I don't. I'm not going to tell them to talk or not talk. Uh, well, I, that's, I, that's, I, that's up to you. I, I gave you a suggestion. I will just, I will just you can take I, the suggestion it sucks. and you can shove it up your ass it if sucks. you don't want it. It sucks. <gasps> it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. No, that would that would ruin the spirit of discussion. Uh, yeah, it would make it more controlled, more like a radio show. Well, but, no, uh, I, I never where? I never control talk on my radio shows. I I, I did very loose. Uh, call screening to begin with, you know. I know I call screened for you, but I no, no, I would no, say which... late, you did in the very early years. Later on, yeah, all my camel. screeners were told uh, let anybody on who wants to come on. Uh, I just uh, all I did was I figured out who was the funniest, and I told you to take that line. You know that was yeah, but you know, take I, one, I know take two. I, the new the new Skype is. Uh, I just may not even put up with it. You know, from what I understand, I'll still be able to use the old Skype, you know, Good. for a while. But if I ever, like, lose it or it, uh, it somehow gets, uh, the new one gets downloaded without me asking or whatever, I'm stuck with it because I don't think I can download the old one. Although uh, I know places I can go and download it. Yeah, yeah, so that's not a problem. But I, I just you know, got an and, and email I, and mm -hmm. women and I can I can right. do it. I can uh, I can make it work. I mean, I have a program that allows me to use the screen, but uh, the whole thing is so much more cumbersome to get to. Like uh, it's a thing called NDI and I bring it up and I don't know if I've got a picture of you guys until I somebody calls and then it activates. Mm. You know, uh, this is your new tech. Yeah, I, I uh, yeah. listened to your show yesterday. Yeah. And it was yeah. a nice show. It was relaxed and easy, and uh, nobody was yelling at any, anybody. Yeah, you know, that's just, just right. Very pleasant. That's right. So, you know, uh, and tonight this might be the only two people I get to, in which case that's... I ain't going to be here tomorrow night. You know. Well, what's, what, what is going on? Uh, is there anything, you know, happening in the world that uh, not people that are I, occupied? Not that, not that I know of. Oh. Not that I know of. Oh, we love you. We're here. Yeah, well, you know, I don't know. It's, uh, there weren't any baseball games on last night or football games or uh, whatever. But, uh, yeah. you know. Um, but um, I, I, did, uh, I, I did get an acquisition today. Uh, oh, what did you get? Oh, your new watch? Uh, it's out of the picture. I can't see it. Oh, here. Uh, now me, I can see it. Now I can here, see it. Here, let me... Uh, let me see here. Let me bring it in. Oops. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Come on. Go down. Hold on. Wait a minute. See? Uh, well, first I'll show the people go, out there. Uh, okay. You show the people. Yeah. And then uh, I'll, I'll and show you. The band. I'll show you. Yeah. The band that you got wow. looks more comfortable than the band that I have. My, mine has this plastic band and it feels like a cheap well, because I bought swatch this, I bought this band and it's it, uh -huh. you can buy them from... Um, uh, no, I don't want to turn the Apple Watch off. Jeez almighty. I just want to get does, rid of this. Uh, does, dismiss. Um, but this is, uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's bigger and larger. And uh, um, I don't like me. Huh? It's bigger yeah. and larger. <laughs> Wait a minute. They're talking a about my stomach. Let me get rid of these things. I, there we go. But I love, I love that. People can see that. I'll show that to that camera, and then I'll show you guys. Uh, hold on, a minute. Let me let me get it going again. See. Uh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the screen no, uh, looks the i the uh, icons look larger. No, and uh, no, nothing is large there. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. It's screen. And nice. That's just yeah. one thing, and of course the other screens. It, it's just. The, uh, the it's a much nicer um, looking uh, uh, operating, you know, <laughs> on the screen. Oh, come on, jeez Almighty! Well, I, there I you tell go. you, there, the, you, there you go, folks. Uh, there, there's, there's it's Mickey. A black screen right now. Uh, oh, really? Here we go. 
Come on. That's another thing that I'm not crazy about. Uh, there with we the, go. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's yeah. Good. But it's it's just, it looks better now. It's much yeah. better. And this is the cellular, so I can take phone calls on it. And the thing is that it's um, it's pretty loud. The, the, uh, they, they, they improve the volume coming out of it uh, by about, uh, uh, what is it, uh, 40%. So that, listen. So, so Good night, pal. Ah, that's pretty good. Yeah. But uh, now your conversations aren't private. If I, if I want them to be, I guess I, I use the uh, Bluetooth. You know. Right. Hello, Rob. Good evening. How are you? How is everybody? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, how I got this watch was if you go online, they'll tell you it'll take four weeks for them to get it to you. But if right. you keep checking every now and then... You just go, I want to pick it up at a store, and then it says, like, no stores have it right now. And then all of a sudden, you'll see two stores have it. And Fifth Avenue and the West Side had it, so I ordered it immediately and went down to 3.30 today and got the goddamn thing. You know. Wow. Uh, so. Fifth Avenue, is it at, near the uh, Trump building? Trump Tower? No. Oh, okay. Nothing. Which near one did you get? I got, the, uh, I got the full deal. $661 with the protection. You know, and the taxes. To come with a condom? No. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the forty four uh, screen. Yeah. And it's uh, let's see here. It's uh, um, cellular. So. So other Which, than the cellular and the uh, uh, the little bit larger screen and the better audio, mm -hmm. uh, is there much of a difference? Yes. If I'm on the ladder and I fall down because I'm 78 years old, it will call 911. Yeah. Oh, you know what it <laughs> should do? It should say, don't get on the ladder. Yeah, it probably should say, don't get on the ladder. <laughs> which, which band did you get with it? No, I have my old band. My old band oh, still works okay. with it. This is my, my how, how much did it cost? About 15 bucks. Yeah, is, oh, is that, that one of those? Online? I, get, I, I have mine. Mine has. A, I, I don't use the Apple band anymore. No. I hated that rubber band. Well, the new I one, the new funky, one, the, the one it? that came with this phone is a little better. It's a lot like yeah. this, you know, yeah. like the chain version. Uh, but what happens is, it, Apple sells the chain this version, right? Yeah. And yeah. they charge a hundred. They charge a yeah. They charge one hundred and fifty dollars for it. These guys make it and sell it for 15 bucks, and it's just as good. You can't tell the difference. Yeah. Not yeah. plus the tariff now. Yeah, plus now, the tariff. The, well, the tariff yeah, did on the tariff this, affect you buying the watch? Was there, no. Was there tariff? No, on? it was no. still a high-priced item from Apple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, I saw their X today, while Max, while I yeah. was down there. Oh, boy. Uh, a friend of mine told me the camera is really superior to the uh, to the 10, uh, to the original 10. I have the original 10. They're the same and, pixels. Uh, no, the same it, he said that uh, it's a it's an even better camera than. Uh, I'll tell you something. This camera is fine. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I I defy anybody, and when I blow this thing up on a 4K screen, some of the footage from it. I defy them to tell the difference between that and the next camera. You know, in other words, most people's eyes won't be able to notice the difference. I was happy with the camera from the 6, but you know what happens with the 10 is that it's got more megapixels, and, it, and when you go to email a photo, sometimes you can't do that many. Oh, I, I blew up. Eight. When I shot the video that I ran earlier, I zoomed in on stuff and didn't lose anything. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with it, you know. But that's not what I'm probably going to shoot with if I go on vacation to Europe because it's just, it's impractical. It's, it, I would be able to shoot everything with it. It's just the amount of time it would take me to offload it onto my machine. It's, yeah. it's not terribly speedy. Now, didn't Rob get a, a, a new 10? Uh, yeah, so you got the new one. Yeah, uh, is, that the, you had is that the Max? Seven before. No, I didn't want the Max. Yeah. It's too big for me. I like a smaller phone. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, that's a lot like the X I have. They just did a few improvements on it and tweaked it up, and you know. Uh, but uh, you know, the the old the ten I got is I'm very happy with it. You know. Yeah. Um, 
No. Yeah, I, you know, it's uh, I'm I'm happy with it too. I just don't understand why I didn't call the new one the 11 or uh, or something. It's not really called the 10. It's the X, yeah. It's called the X, and so there's the, X. the XS and the XM and the X this and the X that, the XR. Uh, so it, 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 the X simply denotes, I guess, that it has facial recognition and all the things that the X has, you know. Uh, hello, Brian. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, can hear you. Okay. Okay, yeah. You have a little bit of road noise. Though. You have a little bit of road noise, so why don't you put yourself on mute when you're not talking to us? You know, yeah, All right. yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, but uh, um, uh, uh, you know, I liked my uh, I I like my Apple Watch a lot. Mm -hmm. I had it for about two and a half years, and I really liked it. And so I figured, you know, this thing, good idea. I'll get a new one. And this thing is much better. The resolution is better. The larger screen, I can read the fonts better. Um, it's a much, it, it, it's taking the, eye, the Apple Watch idea and moving it to where it should be in pure practicality. So, so what'd you do with the old one? It's sitting in a, in a drawer here, you know. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, sell it. Huh? Yeah, sell it. I, I might sell it, yeah. You know, I, I don't know how you how you sell something like that. but like, eBay. eBay. Now, yeah. Marjorie, she, does she wear one? Yeah, she has one. I got her one. Oh. Yeah. I just sold my, um, I just sold my 7S uh, on mm -hmm. eBay yesterday. How much did you get for it? 275 Really? Because I have a 6S. That's what I'm going to sell next. Let me know what you get for it. I will. Okay. Do you hear as much road noise now? No. Oh, no. Okay, good. I'm using a headset. Yeah. Uh, no, it's fine, as a matter of fact. Um, so, um, anyway, and it has some, some wonderful new, uh, uh, new faces, watch faces that are only for this watch. You see that? I got oh, yeah. Marjorie's it's face so in large. the middle of it. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, very, it's very large. And they do yeah. a lot of these things rounded so it looks on your wrist like it's a round wrist, wrist watch. Uh, yeah. But they can do that because of the size. The size is just, it's, it's better. And the resolution is much better than the old one. Well, watch. maybe a, a phase, the one I tried using uh, is a 38, yeah. not the... Ah, yeah, that's the... Yeah. yeah. But, I, may, I have a question, though, that's not in any way, shape, or form related to the tech talk you're engaged in right Good, now. Good, I'm glad. Uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, Renee is listening, or uh, uh, Charlene even, or Diane, they can weigh in from a female perspective. But, uh, you know, uh, relationship-related question, and my, it just happened, just happened like less than 20 minutes ago, as has been systemic in my life for like the last 10 years, especially since 11 years now, since I came out of the closet. But why is it that people find it so fucking difficult to make a decision, a yes or no decision? You want to plan something or don't you, and then they don't respond to you ever. With either a yes, I'm interested, or no, I'm not, or especially no, I'm not interested. If you're not interested, simply fucking say so. How fucking hard is it to make a fucking decision? Rather than just sit on your ass and not shit on the pot. Well, wait, 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 hold on a second. Maybe, maybe oh. they're afraid you're a, a mass murderer or a uh, serial killer. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> a they second. don't want to. Say hold on a second. What I'm if, asking a serious question. Well, what I'm asking, uh, what, no, what I'm saying to you is, what happened to make you so mad and make you ask this question? Well, what happened to make me so mad was that this just happened again in like the last 20 minutes. I planned on calling in regard because I haven't called in yesterday or the day before on account of the fact that I was exhausted and I, I just yeah, was well, yeah, plumb ass yeah. asleep. But this just happened like uh, 20 minutes ago. Uh, actually, it's been a continuation, a culmination of things from, from yesterday evening. I asked a question, uh, when were you available? What, what is your schedule like work-wise, and when are you available free time-wise? I was told by the other person I'm off Tuesday and Tuesday and Thursday of next week, and I said, uh, uh, is Tuesday or Thursday work? Uh, uh, let me know. Okay, time passes about four hours. I ask again, uh, is, is Tuesday good or Thursday? 
Okay. Flash forward into uh, nine. What is it? Nine o'clock or ten o'clock the next morning, and I ask, and I say, uh, uh, "Let me know." And that's the last time I say that. Uh, and then uh, flash forward to uh, just 20 minutes ago, no response. I noticed I noticed that the person's been online off and on, and we've seen each other offline because he's local. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and uh, I just, you know, I'm seething right now, but uh, I, I'm not like bombastic. Contrary to how I portray myself on this venue, I'm not really that been bombastic. I get sarcastic and mean, mm-hmm. as was the case with my response 20 minutes ago when I finally just said, you know what, I'm done pl- I'm done playing these games with people like you, and just blocked his ass. Well, you know, uh, let me let me say this, Brian. Calm, it won't, won't calm you down, but it, maybe it'll give you some insight. You can't be responsible for other people's being assholes, you know? You can't be responsible for that. You can't take it personally, and you can't be responsible for that. Some people are just fucking assholes, you know? And if you wrote me, and even if I didn't want to go out with you, okay, uh, I would give you the courtesy of a reply, you know? Right. And if I was really chicken and I didn't want to meet up with you, but I didn't want to say I didn't want to, then I'd make some excuse why I can't, you know? Is but that's a- me, because I, I won't let people keep hanging. Is there a possibility right. that this guy really isn't available? You know, like, uh, you know, he's, you know, maybe in a relationship or there's some, some Advertise other... Advertise himself as single. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I wouldn't approach the issue. Oh. Unless they're polyamorous or something like that. And all, you know, my, my uh, what's the word I was, I was using before? Uh, tenement. That of all, all all parties agree to it or whatever, well, then uh, yeah, it's nice to know. I'll that, still approach the issue, but it's nice to know that whether you're gay or straight, people still are fucked up like that. Yeah, you I know? was thinking the same yeah. thing. You know, See, when, you when can I take ask, you can take a straight relationship, you can take a gay relationship, you can talk about the problems in those things, and it's they're like interchangeable, the absolutely interchangeable, because human nature is human nature. No, oh, it's the fucking truth. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, but, when I would I would never get a response because I I ask a woman for a number, she give me her number, and it's really the rape clinic, and so I was <laughs> never able to get through. <laughs> well, you know what, Phil? All kidding aside, that happened once to me. I was given a number; it was just a wrong number, deliberate. Yeah. That's never happened uh, to me. Number cannot be found; it is not available. Please try your call again. Was this was like a number of years ago, and I. That's never ha- this never happened but, to me. I never had that problem. When you were dating, there were no phones. When I was dating, there were no girls. Yeah. Uh, you know. Wait, uh, women. Huh? I was finishing your thought for you, Alex, half jokingly. Yeah. Said there were no, you, there were no girls. There were just women. There were just women. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but you know, um, uh, you just—I uh, I know you're—you sound really pissed off because you felt you well, had to I talk about. Believe me, it, you know, it, 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 uh, calm down. You know, it's not your fault, and you can't be responsible for other people's bad deeds. You know, right. you're not an asshole. They are. Continue well, not being an asshole. Can, I just admit it. You can't continue not being an asshole. Okay. You know. Uh, the, Otherwise, the you'll future, turn out to be Brett Kavanaugh. The future could always hold better, uh, better it's, things for you. Maybe this person didn't deserve your uh, company, and that uh, tomorrow you'll meet somebody new that'll be ten times better. Well, well regardless, that, uh, thank that, you for the kind words. Uh, yeah, but uh, that's also, uh, you know, uh, uh, he's not sitting there living with the expectation that tomorrow he's going to meet somebody that's going to make up for it. He may. But he's not living say, with that notion. I was just going to say, uh, give a neutral response to that, Alex, by saying, regardless of whether I find Mr. Wonderful or not, the bottom line is my time is fucking valuable. Can I, it is can not I give you? Can, can, I, can, can I give you one piece of advice? And I want you to take this to the bank. Go ahead. No matter what happens, don't try women. Okay. <laughs> oh, I heard. I've heard plenty of horror stories from that. Yeah. Not just. Not. From you, but from a shit ton of other, fuck ton of other men. Yeah. I yeah. can't imagine what it would be like to be single right now, you know? Oh, it, I, I, yeah, right. I mean, it, you know, it, it is, um, it, it is not a good thing to be single today. And, and you almost have to, before you go out on a date, have them sign a prenup, you know? 
you know, a green, what? Yeah. A prenup? A yeah. A prenup. I, 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 I don't plan to, you know, tell you, uh, tell the world you raped me. Uh, you know, I'm going to whatever. So it, it, well, it, they don't they don't hold because uh, Trump did, does that. And uh, he even pays one hundred. No, 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 no. That's not the same thing. Yeah. One is a one is a gag order. <laughs> well, you it's it, it's a double gag order because what they do is they think the fact that they did fuck him and then they gag. <laughs> oh my God, I did it with Trump. I don't even know what. <laughs> well, I could see. All kidding aside, again, I could see why women would be attracted to Donald uh, J. Trump, circa nineteen seventy, whatever. Yeah, yeah, or even in the early '80s. I still think he was kind of early creepy. to mid '80s. I think he's kind of, was kind of creepy then too. You know, I could never see. Well, that. I could see that too. Why you would why you would think that he has that vibe? You know, it's funny about about Trump, uh, and I don't I don't want to get in any big discussion about him. But in all the time that I was in New York, I never thought much about him. You know, Most he was New just don't. huh? Most New Yorkers don't. Yeah, now we yeah, do. Now they do. Yeah, exactly. Now they do. <laughs> You know, but, yeah, uh, yeah, he was he was a nothing, you know, uh, when he was in New York. He built some buildings. He, you know, it's like um, he made a profession you know, it was out like of like Harris. He made a know? profession of seeming like he was successful. Yeah. His yeah. tower was subject to a number of uh, FBI wiretaps as well. And I learned this information from an audio book I downloaded on Audible that uh, goes into great detail concerning the five New York families. Ah. Yeah, well, yeah, the five New York families. They were the Gambinos. The Gambinos yeah. the I always remember. I, I I remember the names of the five families by the acronym I've come up with, uh, which goes uh, "Big Gamblers Can Get Lucky" or "Big Gamblers okay, so Cannot it, it, Get Lucky." Gambino, Banano? Luciano, no, no, Banano, uh, Banano, Banano? Uh, Gambino, uh, Colombo. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Genovese right. and Lucchese. Wow. Good. And then, of course, Pete <laughs> Calvocati, or however you pronounce that name, in, in New Jersey, that the uh, Sopranos were heavily based off of. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, good. You're very good. You're very knowledgeable about that sort of thing. Oh. Uh, yeah. You think that would be a Jeopardy question? Uh, <laughs> well, if it, ever, five families. if it ever is, he's going to win, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's for damn sure. Um, but anyway, so I'm, I, you know, surprised I'm, though. I'm surprised. I don't mean, to, but I'm surprised that, uh, the, I think the Luciano, uh, family, um, metamorphosized into, I can't remember if they metamorphosized into, uh, into the, uh, Gambino or the, or the, or the Genovese or maybe both because, uh, Luciano was the guy who's credited for having created the five family, uh, structure as it's known today. Because beforehand it was just a uh, madhouse. Listen, I want to try something here, if you don't mind, Brian. Uh, okay. uh, Phil, you know my phone number, don't you? Don't yeah. say don't say it. Give me a call. <laughs> Let me see if I can phone. talk to you through my phone. All right. Uh, you know, uh, I did this earlier to Marjorie, calling her, but I never had somebody call me, because all of a sudden I'm not very popular with those uh, spam callers any longer. Oh man, I've been getting them like crazy. Why are you Why are you upset about that? I was just gonna say. Well, uh, oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Well, what? What? Okay, there we go. Let me answer it. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. And I can hear you. Let me uh, Let me just turn the phone up just more. Yeah, can I? Right. Can you hear? You can hear me, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not going in my microphone too, is it? No. So I don't know how to use the no, but they, they can hear it on the microphone here. But the fact is that the, what's great about this is they raise the, the volume about 40% so that I'm sitting here talking to you and I can hear what you're saying just, you know, by holding it like this. Wow, that's fantastic. And how does, and how does it sound? To, how do I sound to you? It sounds just like you're on an iPhone. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's excellent quality. Yeah. So, you, you know, this is, this is great. Uh, so I, I can answer the phone now and talk to people with my I think with there's my one watch. in my future. I feel like I feel like fucking Dick Tracy. 
Can, I, can you, hey Alex, can you can you answer your phone if you're out and you leave your? Can you answer your yeah. phone with your watch? Okay, if goodbye. This, I want to hang up. Hold on a second. I want to hang up on Phil. There we go. Uh, yes. What were you saying, uh, Rob? Can you answer your phone if you, like, say, go to the gym and you leave your iPhone home? Will your yes. phone ring on yes. your watch? Oh, absolutely. This is a cellular watch. Okay. So, so, so that, that's one of the reasons I the bought phone. it because one day I went, well, who needs it? I always have my iPhone with me anyway, right? And right. then I went to the gym and forgot my iPhone. And I went, gee, I wish I had that other watch now, you know, and... Uh, uh, it's uh, you know at, at ten bucks a month, it's one hundred and twenty dollars a year. I say, what the hell? You know why not? Now, can you listen to uh, like books on tape or? Uh, I was uh, tonight tonight through the cellular. Okay. Yeah. Uh, without the iPhone, I was listening to some of the stuff I have up on the cloud. Although somehow my Frank Sinatra stuff wouldn't play. It's uh, it it didn't. Uh, it didn't find it on the cloud, but most of the other stuff it did find, and I was playing music and listening to it from the cloud. I could walk wow. down the street and hear my music without having it on the, you know, coming off you of my think iPhone. By chance, it knows and it has a copyright uh, uh, issue with maybe the Frank Sinatra stuff. No, because I got a lot of other stuff up there. You know, huh. it just seems to whatever I. Whatever I have in my iTunes, it, I think it uh, it uh, copies up there, but somehow those uh, items didn't uh, go up there. I don't know why. I don't know what the problem is. So, what mm. the hell, you know? But what I'm saying is, if I want to listen to some music and I don't have my phone with me, I, I can do it. You know. Uh, hey. Alex, this is uh, yeah. Alex. Uh, just uh, a recap from before. It's I'm not pissed off that uh, I. I, I'm not pissed off when I get rejected. It's that I'm pissed off that, uh, you know, this people like this cocksucker won't shit or get off the pot. But they, they keep you hanging. I know. I've had, you know, we, I think we've all had this thing happen, except Tony. He's never gone out with anybody. My mother but, keeps me hanging every night. I swear I want to give her all the pills out. <laughs> she bangs on the floor. Man. Oh, by the way, you know, my, Ryan, my, like my, Alex said earlier, I don't, I don't uh, you know, you can't let <laughs> other people's uh, way of doing business affect you. Yeah. You can only yeah, be who true. you are. See, and, sometimes uh, that's good advice. Yeah, those yeah. people aren't going, the other people aren't going to be uh, uh, the, the kind of person that you would be. Uh, you can't... Uh, you can't let it affect you. You can't you know? judge people based on who you are. Everybody is different. Exactly. Like, in my family, there's a lot of people I don't like to talk to because I hate them, really. Because I just don't like them. Oh, I believe that everybody has I just don't even bother with them anymore. Everybody has people in their family that they feel that way about. By the I mean, way, like by the way, I'm not even worse because they're related to you by blood. I this have... cocksucker I just got uh, done with, you know, I'm... I'm you know, I, I, sever, I sever all ties, and I never, I never have to look at them. I never, I, I may mm. run into them on a pass in passing uh, down down in the city of Pittsburgh every once in a great while. But uh, you know, unlike uh, Tony, and unlike members of my own family, they are still members of my own family, and I unfortunately I mean, I are re related to them by blood. Like I, I might be able to get, like some people in my family. Like if I don't see them. And then when you see them again, you say to yourself, oh, shit, I really don't miss these people, I tell my brother. It's like, I don't mean it in a bad sense, because I don't like to use the word hate, because I like to joke around a lot. But it's like Alex said, maybe you can't put so much pressure on other people. Like, you can't really... You can't be... Like, like, if some people I, are assholes, What I've often said, and I think... Well, that's because you're lighter well, tempered than I am, Tony. I, I think Rob... Well, I too, Rob right? would agree with me on this. You can't be uh, responsible for the actions of other people. Exactly. That's it. Plain and simple. You have no control yeah. over them, and you have no responsibility for them. And if they're assholes, then they're assholes. Yeah, that's a good and let's part. say the guy called you tomorrow and said yes. Yeah, what happened there? He, because he's been avoiding you for so long, do you really think this is somebody you want to go out with? That's a good point. Maybe oh, he can't now because there's no way he can get in touch with me. <laughs> okay. I blocked. I told you I blocked his ass. Yeah. By the way, I have a new drug now that I'm taking. What I do, I build walls. What are you okay, thinking? I have a new drug that Trump. I'm taking. This one is gabapentin. Now, I tried this once before, and I thought it made my feet feel worse. Oh, but you were saying you had a problem with the feet? But I think that that was uh, just coincidence because I took it last night, 
yeah. and it was fine and it, it didn't I didn't feel bad this morning it made me drowsy enough that I went to sleep uh, and so I'm he told me to take like three of them a day and see what happens so I'm going to start taking I'm going to take two tonight and I'll take three tomorrow night and see how it how three? It is that a lot but, but the thing is grab but, a chiropractor what but, Oh, that pill called uh, grab a chiropractor. Yeah, fuck I, uh, I, I uh, no, but the thing is that um, when I get on a new drug, I then yeah. go online to see what the side effects are. Oh yeah, I should do that. For you. Are you ready for the side effects on this one? Go ahead. Abnormal eye movements that are continuous, uncontrolled, back and forth, or rolling. Let's take a look at his eyes. They look pretty oh. good. Well, now you. <laughs> Clumsiness or, unste like clumsiness or unsteadiness? No, you're pretty steady, Alex. Yeah. Okay, then uh, let's see here. Constipation. Followed <laughs> immediately by diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, how, how do you have two contradictions, two side effects? One is constipation and one is diarrhea. Like, make up your fucking mind. Right? Difficulty speaking. Do I sound okay tonight? Am I slowing my words at all? Mm. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Drowsiness or tiredness, dry mouth, nausea, vomiting. Now, my question is, when you see these side effects listed, is that just because the lawyers told them to say so? What's that? Or do you, you can get suicide and death. Well, the other one I got no. suicide. This yes. one I don't, is not suicide. All right. Yeah. Anyway, so I, 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 every time I look at, the, at side effects, I go, why are people taking this shit, you know? But so far, so good. But one night, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, it's, it's, why are people taking that shit? I can uh, surmise an answer for you. The answer I surmise is so that they have, because people have an atavistic desire to prolong their miserable lives more longer than they uh, are naturally well, no, intended. No, 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 you're wrong. Yeah, Brian, I need it because I just would like a little relief from the pain that I get from it. Okay? okay? It's from the nerve pain. That's all I care about. I don't care if my feet are numb. No big deal. At my age, I, every, every old guy I talk to says he has numb feet. You know? So I, 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 that's not the problem. The problem is the nerve pain. And uh, I would like some relief from that. And that could be a problem, though, if you're in your 70s and you want to continue driving great distances for you know money well no i'm uh, uh, driving is not a problem this this drug i take at night and by morning it's not causing me drowsiness i was peppy all day today look i bought a watch for 616 dollars oh. oh. on a on a, on a on a pensioner's uh, uh, income you're worse than uh, me oh my my i i finally found out how much we have to pay in taxes and and we really bit a big bullet this year because I suddenly realized, thank God for the economy going, I mean, the stocks going up. I had to pay all kinds of money this year, taxes on the money that I made off the, off the, yeah. off the, off the, uh, uh, my Vanguard account. And uh, Marjorie had to pay more money on the, because her rent, the rent where she's renting the apartment, when she raised the rent, so she had more money coming in. Now, I just think that when you hit 75 years old, the government should say, hey, you know, so no more colonoscopies, because that's what they stop at 75, and you don't have to pay taxes anymore. That would be good. My mother would be You know how I screwed up? How? Uh, I used to have a house, and I used to have a lot of deductions, interest mm -hmm. deductions. Well, I never changed the number of withholdings oh. that uh, I had at work. And so I got hit with an eleven thousand dollar tax bill. See, see, ooh, yeah, ooh. yeah. Wow. Why didn't yeah. you change? I, don't, I can't understand why we just don't just simply pay taxes on what we buy. Actually, you know, actually, sure. that has uh, been uh, been proposed that we have a sales tax, and you know, yeah. if you spend a lot of money on stuff, you should pay us. Republican Steve Forbes, among uh, among uh, other people. Yeah, uh, there's also another thing. Uh, you know, we could get along without taxing people. The individual income is, uh, isn't a big moneymaker for the government. 
uh, a lot of other things are, uh, like businesses and so on. And I say, make business pay through the nose. Let's take care of uh, and just not give the common individual, you and me and Phil and Rob, uh, have, make it so we don't have to pay taxes. Let these businesses pay the taxes. They get the biggest benefit out of this country. We don't get them. What benefit sure, are you fine. getting being an American? Come on. See, my new one. trying to figure it out. <laughs> they get to pay taxes. That's it. Okay. Yeah, especially when you're being told what you can't do that That's isn't really hurting other people. What is that, Phil? Like, is that the ankle bracelet you had to put on for that? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, my, this is my new dive computer. Uh, and you wear it on your wrist. <laughs> that doesn't look like an ankle bracelet. Imagine he's a cop. How much did that cost? He's selling rugs under the table. Uh, yeah, $1,500. Paying taxes, you're paying taxes to a government that tells you, no, you cannot snort cocaine. Hmm. Well, who are you harming? And doing that. Well, all I'm saying is, is that I think that uh, that the businesses should be p pay through the nose. I think that they have to make the have the biggest benefit in this country, and we should not have to pay taxes. Right. Well, we should be able to get the same right. You know, we business. didn't have to pay taxes till 1920. Really? Yeah. Do you know why that? Do you know why? You know why they? Start, I should make some payment with cash. Do you know why they? Do you know why they started taxing? <laughs> you know why they started taxing? Why? Because they, no, because pr the prohibition. Liquor. They lost all the income from alcohol. You and see how so, stupid they were? They should have just kept it legal. I thought we didn't have to pay an income tax that's until 1918 or 19. Yeah, that's what I said. 19, about 1920. Yeah, and and they came up with income tax as a way of making up for the money they weren't going to get from alcohol sales. Well, now they don't want to give it and up. And then when course. prohibition was finished, they didn't stop with the taxes. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Greedy so fuck the new work. Money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got this on Tuesday. This part goes around your chest and it monitors your heart. This oh. thing connects to your regulator and sends a signal without a hose. Uh -huh. And the other part tells you when you're dead from a shark. <laughs> no. like shark repellent. It, it seems like Ray is actually working on something right now. Yeah. <laughs> what are you working on? I'm just trying to get rid of my email. Really? Anything uh, interesting? Anything you want to share? No, I just got thousands of email in my Gmail box, and I can't stand it anymore. Get a new account. No, I'm just deleting everything. I hate I'm Gmail. To... I got Gmail. I hate when, it. When I, I haven't deleted here, anything. Here's what, here, here's what happened when I, lo when I lo left, uh, left uh, uh, Time Warner or Spectrum, as it later was. Um, I uh, uh, I lost my email account, which you know really they sh there should be a law saying that you you have to pay like a couple of dollars a year and you can keep your email account for a while, all right? Yeah. But no, yeah. the minute you stop having that, and I went to FiOS, and FiOS doesn't it, Verizon. Correct me if I'm wrong, Rob, because you have Verizon doesn't have an email service. So you have to go I, out and find it somewhere else. What? Yeah, I wouldn't know. I haven't used, uh, an, I haven't used the providers and IS, uh, ISV's email service, ISP's email service, yeah. in twenty years. I just, I, I use Hotmail. I, it never changes. It's always the same, and that's the end of I, it. I, I, I learned just, a lot. I figured out a lot. Yeah. A long time ago that you were going to go from service to service and how were you going to get your email from each one of those well that's why that's, well, that's why that's why i now why i bought because i've been using hotmail from way longer than that i've been using hotmail for 20 years well that's why i, I that's, used the me wait a minute uh, that's why i bought a uh, uh an email address gabnet.net i actually have gabnet but you still need some place to host that well i need some place to host it but if i tomorrow decide i don't want fios anymore or i'm going somewhere else I don't have to worry about changing my email. I own my email. It costs me about 120 bucks a year, and I own my email. And I can have a couple other people on it too, like you know Jack is on it uh, with a Gabnet address, and uh, uh, I get five other people for that, and it's fine, you know. Plus, I then have my Apple account, which as long as I guess, I guess as long as I huh. I thought you lost your audio for a second. No. no. Oh. 
Uh, uh, what I'm th thinking of is where uh, uh, Apple. What what is that going through? Is that going through my my uh, uh, AT and T? I mean, how am I getting? How does Apple Apple, gives... Apple has an address, and it's I th is it the cloud? That it well, it it's iCloud. It's me. It's it's dot Mac. It's all of yeah. them. Any one of them you write to. If you write to me uh, at my address at me.com or mac.com or icloud.com it will all re resolve itself to sending it to me but i'm trying to remember how i got that and was it because i i guess it was because i had an iphone yeah, yeah it, you get that uh, automatically i think when you sign up for an icloud account when you sign right. up for a yeah because i never signed up for a me address but i have one i never used it yeah uh, uh, what were you saying yeah i have one too yeah uh, and, and, that, and I do you, use it. I use those. I use those for the for the stuff where I'm I'm doing business with something, and uh, that, things come to that address. Although here's the problem with Apple, with their mail. I don't know how if any of you have Apple Mail, but yeah. I can't tell you how much spam and spoofing I get through Apple Mail. I really? don't get it through any of my other accounts, but I get it through Apple Apple's Mail. And you would think that of all the companies in the world that could guard against this and could, you know, you know, it, but, but I've gotten spoofs that were just ridiculous coming from, from uh, my Apple accounts. So they don't do much to filter it out. Uh, I made a mistake and got a, uh, one of those vanity things. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a dot photography. Uh, you know, they, they have all sorts of things like you get a uh, dot child molester i have a dot photography yeah. and uh a lot of times you go to sign up for something and if you use that address it doesn't rec they don't recognize the dot photography they, they also have you know dot biz and dot this mm -hmm. and dot that listen uh but here's what here's what's hap interesting. happening here um uh we're uh, we're losing audience now because i guess we're not talking about the elephant in the room uh, what is Tony getting bigger? No, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's the uh, the whole. No thing. more than you're getting smaller and fatter, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, yeah, that's the pot calling the kettle black. I, I worked out. I did cardio for thirty minutes. I think no. Well, I got about six feet on me, so. Yeah. Anyway, um, any comments about the Kavanaugh thing and the FBI report? What's today? going on? Are they going to vote this dummy? I, I got a I got an email that said that the that the uh, thing is clear. I mean, I even sent it to you, but I found nothing, nothing uh, anywhere that said that there was uh, that the report didn't uh, you know uh, accuse him of anything or th there's no news because they're the keeping the, they're keeping the report secret. It's not yeah, to be I mean, released to the public. Nothing. Yeah. Bitch, my cock hold the fucking turtle boy wants to keep it private. From what it's I understand. ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I, I, got, really? I, got the, I got this email from the White House, uh, supposedly. Uh, uh, and I, I sent it to Alex because it was the only bit of news that I saw which said that Kavanaugh is clear and that uh, there, was, uh, there was no uh Yeah, but accusation. this is being interpreted by a guy who's been known to... Wow. Not be very clear himself where that is concerned. Here's here here's the whole problem. I mean, you know, I mean, he's going to yeah. get he's going to get uh, of course confirmed. Uh, confirmed. And of I think I think it's a shame. I think it, I think it's horrible. I, I even Justice uh, what's his name uh, Br Brent Breyer Breyer uh, came out today and said this man should not be on the Supreme Court. Uh, and neither should Breyer. He's not. I know. Uh, he's uh, he was uh, was he appointed by uh, Bush one? I think and so. I can't remember who. But anyway, uh, uh, the man is not in. Well, the point is that he shouldn't be. Uh, you you but, know, he uh, apologized today for some of his statements. Well, uh, he uh, he said that um, why didn't he, he only did so because he was forced to. Why didn't he do it a few uh, days ago? Well, he did Who it today. Apologize, dipshit, Kavanaugh. Uh, apologize. Uh, yeah. He's sorry he got called out on it publicly. 
That's what he's sorry about. No, I, I just don't think that that's his uh, normal way of doing business. You know, he's got yeah, his normal way of doing business. Bill is doing it behind everybody's back yeah. and uh, fucking women without their consent, his, his, without no, us knowing no, about his, it. No, his way of doing it is getting drunk first. But anyway, that too. Did you know he likes beer? Yeah, he. I heard yeah. that. Never drink beer. How did you find that out, Rob? Too bad he doesn't like shit. Is. He should be eating it right now. It's it's uh, it's out there. I, I've heard it. I just, you know it's it's buzzing around. He likes beer. He likes beer. Uh, uh, I felt uh, you know I felt that this report uh, was restrained because the White House put restraints on. Of course. That's what the Democrats. No, were no, no. Say that's not what the Democrats the are saying. If you look at they, the report, you have this. to say they did not ask enough questions of enough people. You know, they did, they did what they were allowed to do, what the White House asked them to do. Because you see, the White House orders this up, and then they say what they want and the parameters they want to put on it, and and they dictated the parameters, and that's why it it. Uh, it, 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 there are a lot of unanswered questions. But it's self-policing. Yes. Yes. You know. It's as simple as that. It reminds me of when I worked for the company I worked for once, and I, and I, we were, you know, uh, I, I, I turned, uh, I became a whistleblower because of shit that was going on. And, I mean, the shit was really going on, but who was hey, Rob, the investigation? Black, uh, hold, hey, Rob, hold, hold on, Brian. How black were your balls after you uh, blew the whistle on them? Who's, 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 uh, who's running the investigation but the company? And what is the company doing? Protecting themselves. What is the company I, doing? Do they really want to dig? No. Till they got their you guys asses. love the FBI as long as they were going after Trump. You love the FBI. It wasn't you know, the, F the FBI. Wait, wait, no, I don't. I don't. No, 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 no. The FBI. They were restrained by Trump yeah. and his people. The, 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 it's not the, the FBI. FBI. The FBI. FBI did that was what the Senate. Wait, hold on a second. Phil. 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 A week. Phil. They asked no. to, to look wow. at the well. Allegations. They didn't take a week. That's they all. only took till Wednesday. Okay. They didn't need to a week. But they didn't the need a week given the restraints that we yeah. were given. They didn't need a week because they didn't have anything to do because the they were put under. They had their hands cuffed. I don't come on. No, you don't yeah. believe it, but uh -uh. it's so, Phil. Because it's, tell me, tell me. It's so because you say uh -huh. it's so. No, it's, no, just, it's so because you here. say it's so, I guess, right? So either way, so this is why this country is fucked. Yeah. Yes. You know, this is I can exactly see why, why this country is fucked. I, I can see why there was a civil war and people killed each other in the eighteen sixties. And it's coming again. I yeah. can guarantee it's you. Not it's soon enough. Again. Not you know, soon enough. Uh, instead of being north and south, it's red and blue. Yep. I'm just it's sorry that I'm too old to be. Uh, I'll never be here here to be able to fight in it. You know? I'm not getting drafted. Forget that. But I'll tell you something. If tomorrow people were taking up arms uh, to to get this country straight again, I'd be the first one in line. Really? I yeah. wouldn't want to do it. I can't. He's got two arms. I don't want to kill anybody? You know. And I don't even own a gun. Oh, I'd do it. I'd, uh, I'd, I'd I'd make a list of people I'd want to off first in the name of said cause, but I'd do it. <laughs> don't don't say that too much on this show because you know Brian. Uh, he sounds very eager. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I likely he's I in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Well, he yeah. somebody, Boy, work. Ray is really getting rid of that mail, isn't he? Oh, I actually I accidentally deleted all my newest mail, so now I'm really pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That just you totally know, I, sucks. I wanted I want to uh, Oh I can get it out of the I want to get rid of all still have to vote the guy in. Hold on a second. I oh, wanna... uh, they got the votes to do that. Yeah, because they everybody said, is, said, hold because, on a second. Because well. you heard what Jeff Flake said last week. If he wasn't if he wasn't about to resign and get out of politics, he'd have never been able to pull what he pulled. So it's just a it's it's really it's a good old boys club, and they want this good old boy in there because they like the fact that he's good at drinking games. Yeah, like the Devil's Triangle. And yeah. because let's face it, is, is, Trump gonna be, is Trump going to be offended by sexual assault? Trump doesn't drink. It was uh, I didn't say drink. I know. Was Trump affected by sexual assault? No. It's, it, he's it's, been uh, accused. He's been accused. Yeah, yeah he's, he's been accused. And, uh, and please, where there's smoke, there's fire. Oh, 
Oh, I see. Yeah. I don't even bother saying anything anymore. Because it's... You know I mean, Phil, Phil, I mean, all we're doing is, is stating what right. the, the, the Brian, facts are. Listen. And then uh, you want to have a different but, story. Yeah, because he, because his facts come from Fox News, right? The bubble. No, my Lock facts come all, from right? my own logic. It, it, they come Lack from logic. That might be the problem right there. Yeah. Uh, Devil's Triangle Wikipedia page, change, page changes during Kavanaugh's hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see. It does. Because I'm trying to find out what, what a devil's triangle is. I guarantee God damn to you on Urban Dictionary it'll remain the same. We already know what a devil's triangle is. Yeah, that's not new. We we already know. It's a sex uh, threesome. Oh. Male, 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 female threesome. Uh, right. By the way, Brian, devil's triangle Brian was about don't sex. yell, okay? Yeah. Uh, because it's a kind of, with that phone, it's kind of piercing. It's over my And boofing's a, uh, a, 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 an alternate term for butt-fucking. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, but I'm sure that wasn't what he was referring to. Yeah, no, not at all. Yeah, it was cute what he was referring to. What? Right? It was cute. I went to. I went. To, I was in a fraternity at the same exact time as him, and we used to use the word "boofing" to make fun of people, and it was like, "Oh, you boofed him." And I mean, of course, everyone knows what it means. Did Did you have to pledge? I I, I never yeah. was in a fraternity. Yeah, I did. What kind of things did they do? Did they haze or? Uh, oh, totally. Yeah, wake us up in the middle of the night, just put us in a cemetery and make us walk back in our underwear. Uh, Why would anybody uh, submit themselves to because that? Because you're 17 and 18 years old and you're stupid. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Kind of like uh, Kevin. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, uh, Kevin Aw probably did some very stupid things. Well, that, that's exactly what he was doing. I mean, I knew a whole bunch of guys like him. And I, Ralph just, I, hated, I hated it. And Ralphing okay. means vomiting, but it's because and, he had a weak stomach. And and, and, in, and in his face, he had a weak stomach. <laughs> no. Ralphing his mom is would send him to school with Maylocks. Yeah, Ralphing is <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah, it's in his lunch pail. Yeah. 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 He would stop on the way to church, and ah. and then get his lunch, and and so you know he could he could not get you know Ralph you know. Well, what's that? The sacrament wine that they have there that they serve at church. Yeah, sacrament. Yeah. <laughs> he had no choice but to lie. So of course. like. When I was, I was, in, the, I was in Phi Kappa, Phi Kappa Sigma fraternity. It was a total animal house. Yeah. I got I, I and it was the I played water polo and that's where all the water polo players were, mm -hmm. and uh, people some of the best players were the biggest drinkers and they get up the next morning and play against UCLA and beat them or whatever. It didn't matter when you're young, and uh, a lot of these guys were wild like that when they were younger and then they grew up to be like good guys but if you're gonna add if they had to do that and talk about it in front of the senate they'd all lie they have to because otherwise they lose their wife they lose their kid he's lying he has to lie wouldn't the fbi be able to uh find that they, out if they, they let him talk they to those restrained. people if they let him they didn't well, even talk to the people that could tell them that they, well, they talked to uh, Judge and a, and a number of other guys, this PJ, and they did have his testimony uh, that, that could have been a, you know, what do they call it, an impeach, an, an, not impeachment trap, but a, uh, my, my, uh, you know, when you yeah. get caught lying. My question, is, trap. my question is this. Mm -hmm. If, in fact, there mm -hmm. is nothing in there that constitutes uh, uh, corroboration, then why is the Senate not releasing the whole document, the whole FBI document to the public? We do paid for ever? it. Sure they do. Oh, so are the other six background checks were released to the public? No, I don't think they were, but they, they, they could be. I, I think heard it's out of the ordinary, but there's nothing to prevent them from doing it. Uh, yeah. So, that's what what I heard so the if, if there's nothing in there that they don't want the public to see, why are they not letting the public see it, Phil? It's a well, disgrace. The, I, I would imagine the public will see it because do you think no, that no, uh, no, no, the, they said they're uh, not going. Forty-nine to. senators are going to uh, they're going to keep their mouths shut. Well, they they're You're not, right. They're You're not, right. They, they didn't sit, have a hard time. They didn't sit there and commit it to memory, Phil. They might be able to say, "Hey, this is in it and this isn't in it," but they can't let you sit right. down and read it. And the American public would love to read that FBI report. 
That's true. I they don't... said no cell phones, no pens, no paper. That's right. Okay. There's something I don't understand here myself. There's something I don't understand here myself, and that is how is it that these uh, senators can be so confident that uh, their reelections won't be placed in peril if they go ahead and ram through, ramrod yeah. through Kavanaugh's uh, uh, confirmation tomorrow? They have no, I, I they can have tell no you idea. That. They have no I, idea. Uh, no, I, I think that the Democratic ones that are in red districts, like McCaskill, uh, although she's so far behind, she may not vote. For it, it may be her last stand. But I think uh, Mansion from West Virginia may uh, may be a yes vote. And um, well, then I, uh, you know, then I, I call him a screaming cowardly, cowardly asshole. You know, well, we all are. I mean, when you don't, but he represents you know, the people if, he represents. If, if, want it. I don't want to call a Gene Swearingen to win against Mansion. So don't lump me in with those. Uh, don't don't lump me in with those uh, corporate. I, I credits, don't so. think. Okay, I don't think that. Uh, 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 there, there is a senator there that can't say, "Hey, uh, you know something? Um, uh, I, uh, I got to tell you, I don't think that uh, uh, this guy is is right, and I'm not going to vote for him anyway." And it, you could be a Republican. I mean, yeah. I can't imagine somebody of good conscience who can't say that that performance by him in front of that committee was worthy of a seat on the Supreme Court. As a Republican, I thought it was. Well, as, how, as, how so? As, I'm just then, curious. Then you're an well, asshole see, Republican. I think, I think the whole procedure that is being uh, done, uh, put forth by the Democrats is a, is a sham and a, and a delay tactic, and that they used uh, a Ford as a, as a pawn, and they outed her. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, the, there was only two people that called it the, the way it really is, and that was... Uh, South Carolina Senator, uh, what's his name, uh, Lindsey Graham, and uh, J and Judge Kavanaugh, and uh, so as 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 a Republican, somebody from the other side, I look at that and say bravo, and but on your on on the other on the blue side, I understand that that's not what you want. No, and, can I? Oh, that is not. Can I say something? Mm -hmm, sure. No, Phil, I'm not disagreeing with you at all. I think. People can be playing games on both sides. Yeah, my point, yeah. no, my point is that despite all of that, if this guy uh, did this to Dr. Ford and these other women, whatever games people are playing are irrelevant to me. I don't want somebody like that on the Supreme I, Court. I, I don't and I am either. so tired of having these misanthropes right. like Bush, who I'm uh, not like Bush, who like Trump, who says he's grabbing the pussies and who's done whatever else, paid off Stormy Daniels. I'm so. Aren't we tired of this crap? Yeah, of course. And we're it doesn't tired matter it, what the but... politics is. I'm not. I, I totally agree with you that it could all be politics. But if they did it, they but did. But there's it. one thing that's missing. What? It's it's a presumption of innocence. I mean, every this American isn't a has it. It this doesn't isn't matter a if it's trial, trial Phil. Not. It's My not God, a trial. She's a totally credible witness. You Did you see her? No, no, wait a so minute. Hold on he. a second. Hold on a second. How was he? No, he, he lied. Wait he a minute. He lied through his teeth. Phil, 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 hold on, hold on. You let me talk. Let me talk. No, he lied. It's proof. Let me talk. Let me talk here. To begin with, stop with this innocence until proven guilty or whatever because this is not – hold on a second, Phil. It's not a trial. It is a job interview, and it is a person laying down his credentials and other people going, uh-uh, those credentials aren't exactly what you believe them to be. But it is not a trial, and this whole That's notion bad. that uh, – what's his name? Turtle, turtle face. What is uh, uh, Yeah, Graham. Bitch McCockle. Yeah. B B B <laughs> Mitch McConnell getting up and giving this whole thing about, you know – uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, it, it's it's a, it, it, you're proven innocent until proven guilty in America. No, that isn't what that whole process was. It yes, it is. No, it is them you, saying it's you like, have inalienable rights. Okay, it's like at a wedding when no, they say don't. any it's anybody. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's like if anybody, if you go to a wedding and they say if anybody here sees a reason why these two should not be joined in holy wedlock. Speak now or forever hold your peace. And somebody stands up and says, 
he's a he's he's an asshole or he's a this or he's a that and i knew you know well it's not a trial but you were asked okay and this is an open forum in which somebody wanted to contribute to the proceedings to give some background on something that had to happen to her at the hands of this person so you could be at a better indication crap, crap. hold on a second so you get a better indication and a look into his morality and into his ability to judge other people they did no, they, they didn't. Did. It, they wasn't trial, admit it wasn't a trial, Phil. Admit it wasn't a week. Admit it wasn't a trial. Admit it wasn't a trial. It it may not be a trial, but it's still there was an accusation of a crime. There certainly and, was. And when there was an accusation of a crime, you are presumed innocent until proven guilty, regardless no, of whether no, it's no, no, no. Okay, okay, or you're, you're, else. you're you're presumed innocent until proven guilty, but you true. still might not get the fucking job. Well, that's right. that's what the Dems don't. They they want to delay it so that they quit can, with this. Is uh, this is what the Democrats the is, and this is what the Democrats do. We don't. They're do going to get rid of him anyway once they're in because they're going to investigate him. So if they do take over, he's fucked anyway because they want him out. I have a question for Phil. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Hey Phil, I suppose wouldn't you had to hire. Suppose you were hiring somebody to manage your carpet store. And uh, one of your another carpet store guy who's a friend of yours, maybe this is bullshit, would never happen, but called you up and say, I heard you're about well, to hire he this guy. Hey, I wouldn't do that, man. He shits all over the new carpets and you're, you're going to lose a lot of money. And you say, oh, I can't. I'm not. How do you have proof of him shitting all over the carpets? The, the funny thing is mm. something like that happened a few weeks ago. There you go. <laughs> uh, uh, one of the installers I hired. A, a competing store called me and tried to tell me that the uh, they started to have things missing from their warehouse, and uh, I believe it was just that they had a personal beef with the guy, and because the guy left their employee and uh, came to work for me, they didn't want him to have any work, and uh, so far the guy has proven himself to be a quality person, and that it was the other per uh, the other store's uh, desire to make sure that he didn't get any work. Uh, and so I've seen this happen. Well, I will be happy. I will be, I will be delighted if you go into work tomorrow and everything is gone. So you're uh, turning my finger out. What if it's somebody you trusted? Okay, whatever example I bring up. Oh, if it was somebody I trusted, yeah. then, then I probably would have listened to him. Okay. All right. Well, and she go. wasn't trust. She wasn't credible and trustworthy sounding to you. God damn. Uh, I, she lived no, right down the street from just she's like a she, totally just because she habitates down yeah. the street. It doesn't, doesn't matter. I know people who are friends with her. This woman is like totally like not fucked up. She is like well, a there's regular something human. fucked up because you know she she has uh, she has things going on due to the remodel that she went through. Uh, that's why yeah. she had to go to couples therapy. And, right, and, and she told this, people about this before he even no she even knew he was going to be uh, running uh, well, up for this job. But you just, no, you you're just refuse, on you refuse Maybe. to hear it. You refuse to hear it. Wow. No, you refuse, and, you and refuse to hear that this Rob, woman. You might as well talk wait, to the wall. Yeah. Phil, 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 you, you, well you refuse to recognize this? that Nobody this woman. On hold on a second. being accused, Phil. It's not the same thing. What, what I'm saying, Phil, is. Oh, is it? No, no, Phil. Hold on a second. What you refuse to realize. Is that this woman did have problems where things like the remodel of her house was concerned, and they were based upon that which happened to her when she was 15 years old at the hands of this guy. Okay. okay. Yeah. Can I answer Rob's question? Uh, now, this is no this sympathy is, uh, for that, Phil. Right? No but, sympathy for that. Uh, no. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. You, uh, you're because, cruel. Then. I mean, you're a you cruel know, person. She, now, it, it has nothing to do with good or bad. But, uh, for instance, you're saying nobody on the side of the Democrats has any, uh, has any uh, skeletons in their closet. That's Corey, no, no, we're no, not, no, they're no, not no, being Cory Booker. About. That is not what woman. we're talking about. We're talking about a Republican process with a Republican nominee who has been accused of something. Nobody, there's nobody on our side being accused of anything. This side is the accuser. So I it's different act, what you're saying. But I don't believe the accusations. So, so, so then she because was... I, not, they haven't been proven. Everybody, even the fucking president who loves to grab pussy, said she was credible. Uh, Until the other night, he was being he made pushed fun by of his handlers. I, oh I don't God. think he believed that. 
Oh my God! And yet, and yet you go. So, and yet, with all this, with all this, with all this protestation, with all this protestation yeah. about guilt, innocent until proven guilty. Then we go to a Trump rally, and they're all yelling, "Lock her up! Lock her up!" That's uh, uh, that was Clinton. Hey Phil, how yeah. do you explain that yeah. he told people that Kavanaugh did this years ago? How yeah. do you explain that? Kavanaugh was a big man on campus. Uh, and he was a uh, he was a, a, a star basketball player and and a number of other things. She was a cheerleader. Uh, you know, maybe she just had some issues in her mind, and now they're <laughs> surfacing. So now it's just coincidental then that it's gonna uh, go on. I, I think on. That, you, know, she came, you know she came up with a name. She, and, she uh, time hasn't passed. And no, all before. These are, for she knew. Wait a minute. Let 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 Rob talk, okay? Time hasn't passed in all these years from high school. Then maybe when she was a cheerleader and he was the quarterback, that he snubbed her. And all these years later, a petty little bullshit thing like that is going to have a woman get on television in front of the world and bear her soul. That makes perfect sense. I think now she was I understand. forced. Yeah, I understand. I think she was people forced to do it. Keep, keep people bear those uh, by who? By the Democrats. Oh, fuck uh, you, committee. Phil. Fuck you. Really? By Feinstein oh. and, and, and the rest of her uh, yes. things. It's yeah, such yeah. an unbelievable. I, I mean, if you, you don't want to hear it, there's another opinion on, on the table, and that one's mine. Wow. But you have nothing but you have nothing to even back that up. And neither do you. Oh, we have, I just fun. told you a bunch of things to back it up. Oh, I just told she's you. a neighbor. Her no, that's said not so. what. I, oh my God! You every twist. I said she told people about him years yeah. before. According not that to, she's a neighbor. Who gives a shit? She's a neighbor. Right. She's his neighbor. Obviously, whatever happened that night, Phil, had a great impact on her life. If and it happened that night, she doesn't know that it happened that night. She, she doesn't she, know she, what year it happened. She doesn't know where it happened. Uh, wait, wait. She knows what like year it happened. Is. She knows where it it's happened, true. Phil. You're just listening to Trump at his fucking rally doing a tasteless impression of her. That was and terrible. He and he hey, said she was, doesn't she know if it's upstairs like or downstairs. That was terrible. And she said she knew it was upstairs. Was upstairs, she, 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 she could tell upstairs. where the what the she room was like. She knew everything. She knew there were people laughing. She knew who else was there. Trump's lying. He said, she "Oh, upstairs, downstairs." She could have been stone oh. drunk. Thought that she was. Uh, oh, uh, thought that she was a cop. Why are you blaming really her, Phil? Why are you blaming the woman, Phil? What kind of horrible person are you that you're automatically blaming the woman? You're she, automatically blaming not her. She's male or female. She's the accuser. And when you're an accuser, you have to have uh, proof. You have to have collaboration. When you accuse somebody, it's the accuser that needs to be able to prove yes, their Yes, and point. that's what women have been told for years. And that's, that's why, what, wait a minute, that's why rape cases have been dismissed because they didn't want to listen to the woman. And a lot of a lot of a lot of men have been uh, indicted f without witnesses. Without you can't have witnesses. If 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 the one who was raped is more credible, they are often they often win the case now. If if she's more credible, you believe that she's more credible. I don't believe. I think it's a. 50 I don't 50. believe anything. I really I you told me off. on this it's program, 50 50. Phil. You told me on this program a week ago that you didn't hear her testimony. No, no, no. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. I said, no, I heard her testimony. When? I said I had to get up and leave uh, several times during the day mm -hmm. when I was watching it. Mm -hmm. I watched it on my phone on my desk. And I, I saw the entire hearing, uh, and, but I occasionally had to go back and forth. But you she know, didn't lie. And it, when she didn't know something, she said, I don't know. And she'd I, ask I, her. I word. understand. I'm not saying she lied. She believes what she believes. That's I the only way you can justify it in your head, Phil. that it's reality. That's the only way oh that you God. and Republicans can justify that in your head is to say that. Wow. Because you, because you want what you Just, want. And again, it's the same thing, and I'll keep saying it. The ends justify the I said, the Rob, I Lying, said... Lying, cheating, F doing it. everything that you had to Rob, do the other night, to the end game. Rob, right? listen to me here. Uh, the other night I said if the FBI found that Kavanaugh was lying, he should not be, uh, he should not move on with the nomination. So far, I don't know whether Kavanaugh lied or not. I don't know what the FBI found or not. But I am willing to wait and, and, and put my trust in those senators that they didn't find anything or they did. And if they did, that they don't vote for him. And if they didn't, 
uh, then they do because he's he's uh, qualified to be a judge. Good luck with all that because they're a bunch of cheats, bunch of liars. No, I don't think so. You still got Flake. Uh, well, Flake, it, it already went through the committee, but Flake and uh, Mc, uh, Mc, uh, the other two, Collins and uh, the, the one from Alaska, you know, do you think that if they found out that he uh, did molest this woman, or uh, begin with Murkowski. Murkowski is still on the Murkowski is still on the fence. If I wasn't, if I was still going to remain in office, there's no way I could have done this. He but said he it. isn't going to remain in office. Well, and so well, exactly. He's not, so he's so the only don't you one. Think he's going to do the right thing. We don't know. We'll no, he's going to do the conservative we'll thing, Phil, because he's a conservative. A staunch right. conservative. No, well, I mean, we tend, again, we, oh, we tend to think game. of, and then he'll be able to sleep a little better at night, even though he was accosted in that elevator. You can see it looked like he wanted to climb out of his skin and get and and get out of that elevator any way he could. So by doing this, by doing this, he still voted for the vote next week, right? He still voted for the vote, but he's this way it'll make him feel a little better in his well, conscience. He voted for the vote because it gave the weak to the FBI to do the right. investigation. And he figured that they could they could doctor up an investigation and 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 narrow the scope and now they're doctoring the investigation. The I FBI didn't say that. I'm just saying that they narrow the scope. We already know that. That was because why wasn't why a, wasn't why was uh, 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 don't don't give me don't give me it. the Republican answer, but give me an answer to the question of if you're holding a, a thing like this. Uh, 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 a, a background check uh, like this, uh, yeah. wouldn't you go to Dr. Ford and ask her for some additional information that she didn't give to the uh, to the people? And how about going to Judge Kavanaugh and asking him? Uh, you know uh, what I've heard. Oh, here we uh, go. On the news, I want to hear the answer. That this they thing. had the testimony of both of them, and it wasn't but, necessary. But, but to no, ask. but they, but there there could have been more that they could have asked. Maybe not. They could have asked, to begin with, she said she was willing to give the FBI her, the lie detector her the, test. The, the, not the lie detector test, the notes from her psychiatry and her oh. psychiatric uh, counseling. Is that oh, they didn't want thing? that, huh? Uh, uh, so no. The, no, and you know, the lie detector test only had two questions. But, uh, hey, we're not talking about the lie detector test. We're talking about her psychiatric uh, uh, notes. We're talking about both. We're talking about the psychiatric notes. Maybe you need said. some psychiatric work. You keep getting so angry. Well, when I talk to you, I do. <laughs> so uh, anyway, yeah, the, Jack, Jack is well, joining us. over people, we all do, Phil. Uh, yeah. How it, can you defend the this this whole Trump thing, Phil? Did you see him in Mississippi the other night making fun yeah. of her? Did you yeah. see that? Wasn't I, that I, disgusting? I, I, I'll, I'll tell you how I can defend it. Oh I don't God. like what he says. I. I deplore what he says, okay. but I do like what he does. So the so the means defy the ends define the means. No, De defy the means. I it doesn't ignore, matter any way I, to get to the end game. Y y y all you're doing is destroying the country in in the process. How do you like the How do you like the latest? How do you Machiavellian minded yeah. motherfuckery engaged here? The hell you say? Listen, <laughs> let me let me let me say that there, we had a story yesterday, and it's a good example of of life in the land of Trump, the EPA, which of course they got rid of one crook and they put in another crook, uh, yeah. has just announced that radiation could be good for you. Really? Yeah, <laughs> and, 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 and the way they described it was, it's like getting a lot of sunlight. That's what they said. It's a suppository for him and shove it up his ass and advertise it on season. Yeah, I, 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 I had them shove uh, uh, Jack, my wrist Jack yesterday. called. He obviously wanted to say something, but nobody's letting him talk. Oh, that's right. I was busy listening to all of this. Uh, Hazarai. Uh, Phil is a prime example of what a good friend of mine says is the real difference between conservatives and liberals. Liberals fall in love with people and issues. Conservatives fall in line. I think it's the other way around. You Good. look at Pelosi and Schumer and 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 uh, Barbara Lee and all of these people, and then you look at the other, you know, the other uh, uh, forty-five uh, of, or forty-six of them, and they're just falling in line. Barbara they're, they're Lee not, never falls you know, in line. You know where I want to move? I want to move. Barbara Lee votes I, on her. Con Barbara Lee was the only person who voted not 
to go and attack Afghanistan and How about Iraq. Manchin? How about Manchin? How about Trump? He said he didn't want to go and do that either. And he, he didn't want to go he into He wasn't Iraq. in government. Yeah. No, but that's what he said. Well, he was against the war. What somebody says, but I was for, said, it. Yeah, for it. And what they might have, have said both. 15, 20 years ago could be two different lies. That's right. Yeah. But the only difference between me and Trump is I was for the war. And I thought it was the oh right thing. Oh, my Trump God. So you were, you were wrong then? You're wrong now. I don't think so. Yeah, and we certainly... No, no, I was wrong. And I'm sorry, Barbara Lee never falls in line. Barbara Lee completely does whatever the hell she wants. Where are you yeah, getting this thing about... Bar- she just chants, uh, uh, impeach 44, impeach 44. And what's wrong with that? What well, Barbara Lee does 44 was Obama. All right, well, anyway, what's wrong with saying impeach Obama or impeach Clinton or impeach Trump or impeach me? As long as you are... She's a broken with- record. Wait, and she's, su- she's supposed to be representing the people of her district. And, and she I is. One of the and she is. Very, she is very well. You are not... Uh, oh, You're not typical of her district, perhaps. At the last minute, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to know how you can say she falls in line, Phil. She doesn't fall in anybody's line. We got... We, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Renee has joined us. Hey, look, Renee. I got, got the watch. I, so I was listening to you. You haven't accepted my walkie-talkie request. Oh, you never sent it. I did too. Well, I You've never been got, on it for uh, two days now. I, I never got it. I mean, I'll you, mi- you might have we'll had the wrong now. phone number or something like that. Well, Otherwise, I'd be we'd be walkie-talking back and forth. I all I have on there <laughs> is um, is Marjorie. You know. Uh, got so, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so can you guys see me? Because yeah, I've got yeah, some frozen. Yeah. Okay. So the thing that, and I haven't done the math in my head, so somebody's going to have to do this kind of quickly. Um, there's an issue coming up here. Most, a lot of Americans do not have uh, health care. And i.e., most importantly right now is that what I'm trying to say is that they don't have mental health care. All right. Um, and tomorrow, we are going to watch the Republicans dance all over our heads. And it's going to be very difficult for real women to accept. And it's going to be very difficult for the men to watch this to happen. So everybody needs to know that there's going to be some venting. I would highly suggest ice cream in the freezer, whatever his or her favorite <laughs> is, either a pint of beer or a pint of ice cream, or get the therapist on the line. You, but, don't, you don't work for haagen do you? N- no, I, I, I'm saying go for the big <laughs> stuff. Look, take but out the, your frustration in the ballot box. That's the best answer. Well, you're, right. see, they, we've said so the whole thing is you have to look at this. What we do best is rant and rave, and as we've been yelling at these people in a nice manner, uh, uh, let me rephrase that, Renee rants and raves, these people actually talk like educated individuals. So they're trying to get their point across, and it's not going to work because Democrats aren't in charge of anything. So the next step is going to be full on, what the fuck? So you men are going to be witnessing stuff where you're just going to have to kind of say, you know what, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I believe her is the only words that should come out of your mouth, and you're going to have to watch some probably. Are you bad on behavior. drugs? Wait no, I'm what? serious, Phil. Jack, you know, fifty. That's fifty percent of the of, yeah. of the country is male. Okay, you do, know, Phil. Phil, do you know somebody <laughs> has their hand up? And now I do. Yeah. <laughs> I have you big. So sorry for, it's just that it's going to be very difficult to, uh, for women uh, when, when, because if you think about it, so this is what I was trying to do the math, but president, the former president Barack Hussein Obama was in office for eight years. So if you count back eight years to, Jack wants to say right something. before, so maybe high school, Jack, you've got a whole group of women who have grown up believing that. But Jack can't like what say Ray anything. has said, what all of you men have said. Raise your hand again, uh, um, Jack. Except for Phil. But see, it, see? so this is going to come okay. down on them hard. Look who has his hand up, Jack. I'm sorry. No, I was going to say to Renee, you remember what we talked about the other night on the intersection. Now it's not just going to the polls. That's what? only that. That's only a quarter of the job. That's only a quarter of the job. 
Now, what women have to do is what we talked about the other night. Because guys like Phil, the only thing they genuinely respect is when you mess with the money. We gotta go. We gotta go back to that. You know, we need a. Uh, there should be rolling days of mass protest by not going to work. And you know, that's not a bad idea. I still like that idea. But we're gonna. These women are gonna go through a shock, and it's. And it's, it's for the men like you guys who love women, it's going to be very difficult, and you're going to see a lot of things that nope. they, you're going to need help processing. No, what, what, what the men have to do is back you guys up. You know, if we go to the point where we have what they do in Europe, where they have general strikes, and we do rolling days of that, <laughs> and 30, 40 percent of your workforce does not show up. You're going to get the message. And the message that needs to go to Kavanaugh, if he's confirmed, is this is your fault and you need to step down. Oh, my God. Do you want this prep-ass guy to get God, get religious all of a sudden and step well, like, down? Like they did on, no well, wait a minute. Happened. Hold on a second. On the parody on Saturday Night Live, uh, uh, da D Matt Damon, when he's playing uh, Kavanaugh, said that uh, he wouldn't do something like that because he doesn't know the meaning of the word stop. Yeah. 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 I, I agree with that. And, and it goes back to what you, what everybody was saying before. It, it what Rob says, it's he, it, unless it, he's the, the one ends, saying it, the ends to the means. It doesn't matter as long. They will do everything to stay in control yep. and screw over everyone that they possibly can. And we saw when he what he did to that female reporter with the smirking men behind him. And Renee, we have to take the gloves off. The thing that always pisses me off is that lefties believe that there are some kind of a of, uh, mass thing that we can get these people to change their opinion. No. And they're not going to. Not going to. We should right. say, uh, look, you guys set the rules. All right, fine, we'll accept that, but now we're going to play by them, too. Let's go for each other's jugular and then get up the I've next always, and do it again. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Uh, the saying goes, if you can't beat them, join them. But I add to it, if they won't let you join them, beat them at their own game. Exactly. Hey, Renee, I think you're making yes. assumption about about women in this country. There are many, many women who are still going to be submissive to the ideas of men, and you see them. And, and we're talking basically in the South and parts of the Midwest and these huge swaths of area where, where there's no education. Where, right. Where yep. they're not they're not going to be on the side of other women. So you're not going to have have that. I, I completely agree with that. Jack, let me say something about that. As someone who comes from a group that did that for a long time, when GIs, black GIs, went to World War II, they had a say. Double V. Victory over fascism overseas, victory over racism here. But it took those guys coming home after risking their lives, their dignity, and of stories that I could tell you for them to say, fuck that shit. Now, you take a look. Now, most of you guys are too young to remember any of the news coverage of the civil rights movement in its early days. Luckily, I'm old enough not only to remember it, but to have seen some of it. Mm -hmm. And what folks had to do is say, look, it's bad, but they're not going to get better unless I'm my brown ass off the line to take some star up. Okay, thank you very much, Jack. And with that, I guess we are going to bring this whole thing to a screaming halt. Uh, 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 first of all, I want to thank Phil for being here tonight. Um, thank you, Phil. Uh, as You're welcome. As guided as you are. Uh, uh, Rob Alfano, always good to see you, Rob. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Tony? Happy birthday to the dog. And uh, Renee, thank you. Uh, Ray Renati, thank you. And Brian, you've been driving for the whole hour and a half. Where the yeah. hell are you going? You know. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I'm still in Virginia. <laughs> anyway. They'll vote there, too. Hey, I'm oh, shooting God. the Blue Angels tomorrow. Yeah, okay, so what? I heard you, Phil, and I'm...
still just like the shit out of you. Yeah, I, I, I hate I hate the I'm blue jealous. angels. Anyway, everybody, wave a, goodbye. Uh, wave, Coast Guard ship. wave goodbye. Okay, okay. They got all all waving goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. That's our Bye-bye. that's our citizen Bye-bye. panel. Oh, they're going. I gotta get my camera on before they completely disappear from the face of the planet. Uh, that's it for us tonight. We're through. Uh, that's our uh, that's our little uh, uh, ramble for tonight. Uh, as life goes on in the United States of America, <laughs> God, it's horrible. Anyway, listen, uh, Jack's next with the intersection, followed at one o'clock by Connections tomorrow night, nine thirty. Damian Chaplin, and then I'll be back again tomorrow night, ten o'clock, same time, same station. In life, in the meantime, if you see her. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.